Welcome back to the Super Not Funny Show Reviews. And today I'm reviewing the Wonder Years Season 2 premiere, uh, Episodes 1 and 2. It's entitled One Small Step and Forbidden Fruit. So, what did I think about them and should you be watching? Before we get into the review, get down there and hit like on this video. After... A, a, what feels like forever, but it's been more like uh, 18 months. We finally get season two of The Wonder Years, a show that I thought uh, the first season was really great. A very strong first season. Unfortunately, the ratings weren't quite up to what they were expecting. And so they kind of retooled and, and uh, set it for a summer release, uh, I guess a, a truncated second season. Um, which I hope will actually lead to like a regular renewal for the next season. Uh, but with the white writer strike, who knows? But I'm just happy we got a second season at all. Uh, the Wonder Years, as uh, you may recall or maybe you don't know, is about uh, Dean and his family growing up in, uh, in Montgomery, Alabama in the 60s. Uh, kind of running parallel, if you will, with the original uh, show. But it features... A black family growing up in the South and all the things that they're going on with. And no, it's not about, you know, uh, it's not about racism and, you know, hardship and all that all the time. No, it's about a, a middle class family kind of going through the typical things, but kind of through a different lens. Uh, maybe then you're used to seeing on TV. Uh, it's a lot of coming of age and, you know, girls and, uh, you know, your body changing and, you know, your family and their expectations and, you know, funny family members and interpersonal drama, all that good stuff. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the first season, so I was really looking forward to these first two episodes. Uh, so, uh, you know, the first episode's about, uh, at the end of the first season, uh, Dean and his father, uh, Bill, go to New York or going to New York City so that Bill can see if he will be a writer uh, for, um, uh, for Marvin Gaye. And he takes uh, Dean with him. And so uh, this, uh, you know, this season starts out with them, you know, in New York City. What, how's Dean uh, living his life there? And apparently he's kind of shut in because his dad doesn't trust anybody. And uh, Bill is sort of just having a rough time trying to get uh, any inspiration for songwriting so that he could sell a song to Marvin Gaye so they can, uh, you know, make it, I guess you will. Uh, and so they're kind of two fish out of water, um, Bill sort of feeling like a country hick that maybe he's not good enough. And then uh, Dean just wanted to get out there and experience the New York uh, life that he, he doesn't really know anything about. Uh, and also they introduce a, you know, as a guest star, we have Titus Burgess as uh, the next door neighbor, Lonnie, who, who um, you know, it's the 60s and it's New York City. And, uh, you know, Titus, uh, the Lonnie character is um, a man, you know, cross-dressing. And something that neither of them had really seen, you know, maybe Bill, but not not um, Dean. And so it sets up a, uh, a you know, an obvious, you know, uh, the book, you know, the book is the cover is not what's, you know, the the contents and everything like that. And it's a really nice little storyline where, you know, Dean, he's just, you know, sort of just he doesn't have all the prejudice and everything. And he's just like, OK. Um, cool. Oh, you're from Alabama. You got soul food. I, you know, he lock, he gets locked out after he gets his shoes stolen and everything and find out Lonnie's really just a cool person. And, and definitely, uh, you know, from, from where they're from, but has also now become sort of a New Yorker and it leads to, you know, it leads to Bill, you know, having to basically push away his prejudice or whatever to get to know Lonnie and real and like Lonnie kind of gives, him inspiration to sort of start writing and whatever and and you know to help him find out what's cool and what's hip and everything and it you know it leads into like a you know at least a temporary friendship uh even with bill you know sort of playing and uh you know finding out that lonnie is a has a, a cabaret act and and kind of sitting in on that uh act at one point and it's really just a, was a learning experience for uh for dean as a you know as a young man uh kind of learning uh, about the world and about people and how they're different and everything and how they still have connections. Thought it was really a really a nice touch. Uh, the B plot of that episode was uh, was uh, you know uh, Lillian and um, and a Kim and 
uh, Lillian's her kind of wayward sister coming into town. And then they're going to go to a concert and end up getting arrested because the, the car is stolen uh, from uh, from the sister's boyfriend. And just kind of leads to some revelations of, oh, well, maybe uh, Lillian wasn't always, you know, the good per the good uh, the good sister or whatever like that. Um, and I, I thought that was fun. And also, you know, you see the, the cool sister and how Kim kind of really, uh, you know, is attached to her because, you know, like just the aunt that just kind of does whatever. She's kind of free spirited. And, uh, that, uh, that whole thing of them having, you know, having to get, uh, bailed out and, and everything, uh, was, was real. It's good fun stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't think that that part was as strong, but it was, uh, you know, a fun little diversion. So, uh, like the first episode, I, it was uh, good fun. It wasn't, it wasn't great. I think the, the B plot maybe brought it down a bit, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, second episode, Forbidden Fruit, uh, Dean and, uh, Bill return home and, uh, you know, now he's, he's back kind of just like living his life in the, in the summer. And we find out that, you know, he and, uh, Kisa, who, who we saw kissed in the previous season, they're just like up in the tree house, making out all the time, just, you know, having, uh, going behind, uh, his friend and her boyfriend's back. Um, and at the same time, uh, the, uh, the sister has decided she's going to turn over new leaves. You know, she, she doesn't get charges pressed on her, but she's in town and she wants to like make good. So, uh, it's really, this one is really about Lillian sort of reluctantly having her sister kind of invade her, her spaces and, feeling kind of jealous about it. You know, she's cool and everyone likes her and everything like that. She's, she's just, uh, she's not like her sister, basically. Lillian's a little more conservative and responsible. And so, uh, you know, coming in, uh, into that whole situation, you know, she's very, she feels kind of threatened by it. We, you know, she, she doesn't understand that maybe, uh, you know, maybe her sister might actually be trying to make good because, you know, she's just flaky. And of course, Bill's just like, yeah, uh, whatever. What's this going to cost me? Uh, which is all, it's all very, uh, it's all, you know, fun until it kind of gets real. And like her boyfriend comes back because Lillian tried to, you know, get her, uh, her boyfriend to come back to sort of, I guess, get her out of her space. It, it's like, she's kind of sabotaging her sister. Uh, at the same time, you know, Dean's sort of feeling bad or, you know, feeling, you know, guilty. So he goes to his, his aunt for advice about everything. Um, and, and, uh, you know, it, it ultimately ends up being like, I can't just keep sneaking around and we got to stop. Uh, but uh, this also leads to, you know, Kisa sort of being like, I don't, I just don't want to date anybody right now. It's too complicated. I'm, I'm scared of hurting people's feelings. Um, and you know, it's young love, you know, it's, you understand and everything like that, but they're still friends. So that, I mean, it's cool. They, they're they basically resetting the status quo. They move some, the ball forward a bit and then they're kind of resetting the status quo. I guess that's fine. Um, but really the, the, uh, the part that shine in this was really, um, the sister, uh, Vivian being just kind of <laughs> inappropriate at times, you know, being in talking about inappropriate things at, at church. And then, just kind of being the life of the party, but then, you know, her and Lillian sort of have an understanding with each other. Like, you know, I, I'm in your shadow and she's like, no, I'm in your shadow. And like, you know, maybe we should just try to understand each other better, but also that, Hey, you know, this isn't really my scene and I've got to go, I'm going to go back to Atlanta, try to make it work with, uh, with my boyfriend. So she's still kind of the free spirit, but you know, maybe she learned a little bit, something maybe grew up a little bit and, you know, Lillian learned that maybe she doesn't have to be, you know, as, you know, restricted as she, she maybe she felt she had to be to, to kind of get on. I liked, you know, I like this, this part of the episode. I think, I think the whole, the whole, uh, you know, relationship between the two sisters was very fun. I like, I love Dulé Hill as Bill. He's like, his reactions are just priceless. I, I really uh, love those. And of course, Kim just kind of in there stirring the pot or whatever, trying to redirect away from the, the mess she's up to. That's always fun. Um, again, I, you know, I think I enjoyed the episode. I don't think it's, it was like a top episode of the series, but it was a good uh, reintroduction to 
you know, what this uh, show is really about. If I had to say anything about these episodes, I think there's less haha funny in them than maybe I was expecting or was used to from the previous season. I did uh, appreciate the fact that, you know, they still go with the awkwardness or, or Dean just like saying the wrong thing or being weird sometimes. But like ultimately these, these were less, some of these were less about Dean, even the, you know, the whole bit with him uh, sneaking around with Kisa. We're happy for him, but like, you know, it's, you know, it's just kind of maybe not meant to be. Maybe that was his crush. That's just not quite meant to be. So uh, we'll see. But I mean, overall, I'm happy with this uh, return to of the series. I'm happy with these first couple of episodes. We're looking forward to, uh, you know, getting, uh, I'm going to assume 11 more episodes uh, for the, for this uh, season. And I'm hoping they're so strong that we're going to get a renewal. So we shall see. Uh, but anyway, what did you guys think about these uh, first two episodes uh, or the show in general? Just uh, what are, whatever your thoughts are, just get down to the comment section, leave your thoughts there. And of course, you can always hit me up, supernotfunnyshow at gmail.com or at supernotfunnys1 on Twitter. And while you're down there, get uh, you know hit the like button, hit the subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. All that good stuff helps with the algorithm so that more people can see these videos and uh, help grow this channel. All right. Thanks for joining me on this review. Come back next week. Uh, we're going to be talking about episode three of The Wonder Years. Till then, I have been Mo, your commenter extraordinaire on all things pop culture. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the thread. Peace.